Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ActiQ. So there has been some discussion about the combat level calculation and few YouTubers have made videos about it. And there is also one non-official vote that is on the forum that was posted by Mod Pips. And since the vote is on straw poll, it's very easy to exploit and vote whatever you want and also vote as many times as you want. But since it's not an official poll and there is nothing to gain from winning the poll, I doubt that that many people are exploiting it. But basically, if you have a straw poll, it's possible to vote, for example, 1000 times over the matter of a couple of minutes. But of course, to vote that many times, you will need a program that is actually doing the voting for you. So you need a bot. But you can also vote like 20 times pretty easily, even without using any program. And to do this, you just use the incognito mode in your browser. And you always use a different VPN or a different proxy when you go to the website. So taking into consideration the fact that it can be exploited, this will never be an official poll. But I think it gives a good idea of what the community thinks since there is nothing to gain from winning this poll. So in this straw poll by modpeeps, the overwhelming majority has voted that they prefer the old 138 combat system. Also, a great majority has said that they want everybody to have the same combat calculation, so there wouldn't probably be a toggle option where you could toggle on the old style combat calculation and then toggle the evolution of combat calculation. So I have been thinking about this a little bit, and I have been thinking about what would be the effect to the game if we reverted the combat system from 200 combat level back to 138 combat level. So first up, then the combat level maximum would be some kind of an achievement, definitely. It would be much harder to gain 138 low combat level. But then again also it would make it kind of confusing for, for example, skillers, because skillers would definitely now gain combat levels, because most of the skillers have 99 prayer and also 99 in constitution. And reverting the system back to the 138 combat level would also mean that when you have the max level you need to have both attack and strength maximum to 99, so that would kind of make the calculation a bit different from what we are used to at the moment because at the moment when we have 200 combat level and you go to the wilderness for example and you see other people if you see a person that has 200 combat level that means that they have 99 defense and they have 99 in the skill that they are using in the wilderness and if you would revert the combat system back to the old system there could be people that have 99 magic and 99 defense and they still wouldn't have the maximum combat level because they didn't have attack and strength to 99 as well. So while the combat level system reverting would kind of make the max combat level again some kind of an achievement and it would be kind of cool to have 138 because I don't think I was ever 138 combat, it still would add some kind of level of confusion in the wilderness because there would be two people that have the same capabilities in magic damage but the other guy is level 109 combat level because he doesn't have summoning in wilderness and the other guy would be level 126 in the wilderness because he's also maxed in attack and strength. So this definitely is an additional confusing level to the wilderness calculation and to the combat level calculation because if you are in the wilderness and you wanna fight somebody, you wanna fight somebody that's the same combat level as you but when somebody has like low attack and low strength and they still have 99 defense and 99 magic, they would have lower level than you. So you thought that they are easy to kill, but you might find out that they have the same exact DPS as you have. And because the combat level is kind of leaning towards the melee skills and having high melee stats means that you cannot fight with those people that don't have max melee stats because they don't appear to be the same combat level as you even though they have 99 in magic and 99 defense and 99 in range. So for these reasons, I'm not a huge fan of moving the combat system calculation from the 200 combat back to the 138 combat. But if this is what the majority wants, I don't really care that much because it doesn't really concern me too much. I don't do PvP that much. I only do wilderness warbands. And that's pretty much about it. And anywhere outside wilderness, it doesn't really matter what my combat level is. But with reverting the combat level to 138, there are some factors that should be taken into consideration. And one of them is the fact that 
now the combat level doesn't anymore reflect your capabilities in the wilderness because melee isn't anyhow any more powerful than magic or ranged so if you would be on wilderness and you would have 99 defense and you would have 99 strength you would have a huge disadvantage because your combat level would be 126 without summoning and the someone that has just 99 magic and ranged and defense they would have level 109 combat and they would have the exact same dps as you yet they would still be able to fight much lower level people that have also trained attack and strength and if this new system or the old system actually gets implemented all over again i wouldn't actually even want to have 99 strength and 99 attack because in the evolution of combat pvp you don't use melee melee is very bad in the uc pvp because with the magic and the range you can use stuns and you can just stun the other person and since freedom is 30 seconds reuse they can only freedom one time and then they use anticipation and after that you can just keep stunning them and they have to wait until they can reuse the freedom and showing the old combat level would also make it so that monsters would be higher level than you because i doubt that jagex would be reverting that many of the monster combat levels maybe they actually could do that but it doesn't really anyway matter that much because because your combat level is no factor when you are fighting a monster. Actually, the only factor is what your attack and strength level is. So they could easily keep the combat level of the monsters the same and they wouldn't have to work on that right away. But then again, the combat level of the monsters are at the moment scaled to have 200 combat level as maximum. So if the maximum combat level would be 138, it would be a bit harder to estimate if your character is capable of killing a monster that has X level, unless Jagex would revert the combat levels of the monsters and make them low also. But yeah, I don't really care that much if the old combat level would be returning to RuneScape, as long as Jagex doesn't want to please everybody and make that there is two different calculations for combat level, because it's just overall too confusing and we need one coherent system, we don't need multiple systems, we want, need one system. But if the old combat system is returning to RuneScape, it would make the combat triangle kind of heavy on the melee side and people would kind of want to avoid melee level ups because if you have 138 combat level or 126 in the wilderness, then you are in a huge disadvantage against those people that have 99 defense and 99 ranged and magic. And I don't know, all in all, I feel it's kind of unnecessary update and we don't need it for anything else than showing off that you have all the 99s that you need for 138 combat. And with the option that you can show your total level ups, I don't really see why we would need a 138 combat. But then again, if majority wants it, I don't really care that much. It doesn't really affect me too much. And it's not like it's completely destroying the game, like the legacy mode, if legacy mode is achieving the same XP rates as EOC combat. So yeah, I'm not completely opposed to that, but I don't see it as a necessary update. But what do you think about it? Is it something that you want to runescape? I definitely understand the part that having max combat level should be an achievement. But then again, you can always show your total level, so it doesn't make that much difference. But if you want to see the level 138 combat level to return to runescape, because you want that people can show off their 99s, or if you have some points against my arguments that I made in this video, you can leave those also as comments. And if you like this video, please leave it a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time.